Hello everyone, welcome to Lexi's Weekly Lexicon. So this is my first official video that I'm going to make for you today. And I thought since it is December 25th, 12th, whatever, anywho, um, it's close to Christmas. Christmas is in about less than two weeks, and New Year's is right around the corner after that. So I thought to talk to you guys about New Year's resolutions. So a New Year's resolution means that it's a promise that you make to yourself or to other people to start something good or to stop some doing something that's bad for you. So let's go back to the history first. So New Year's resolutions kind of go back to religious beliefs and they have been through with fasting or certain seasons or religious holidays. People have used resolutions to either you know, sacrifice something or just go back to their roots and realize what they're doing wrong or to improve upon something, kind of like a self-improvement. And also they use this as a time for donating things or becoming a little bit less self-involved and worry about other people and to kind of develop more of a responsibility for yourself. Also, it can go back to times of, in the Middle Ages with the Knights, they would kind of take it as like a revow um, their chivalry and to just realize why they're doing what they do. It's for other people, pretty much. You're not going into that business just like soldiers or, you know, people who help other people in their life, that it's not about themselves to, you know, we're all here in the world and to help other people and to improve upon your life is to do certain things for others. So now let's talk about the most common things that people give up or start doing for their New Year's resolution. So the biggest thing that I see anyone do is kind of physical improvement. So a lot of people say that they want to eat healthier, they want to lose weight, exercise, um, stop drinking or drink less, um, quit smoking, which I highly advise, um, or you know just to stop bad habits, which in my other video you will see the habit that I kind of gave up as a graduation resolution. Maybe see if that's something that is on my New Year's resolution for next year. But that with the physical, I say, you know, since I think I'm just going to guesstimate like 80, at least 60% people say that they want to lose weight, exercise more. I think it's been pretty much on my New Year's resolution every year. But I would say, you know, at least for this year, because I know I always fail at it. I'm not going to say to exercise more or which is kind of been my resolution for the past month. Um, I'm just going to say to be healthy. Um, you know, not lay in bed as much, not, you know, just watch like reruns of TV and Netflix and YouTube. Be healthy, eat stuff, not junk as much. You know, if I'm hungry, go for, you know, something healthier in the fridge and instead of just like junk food snack and, you know, maybe walk more, you know, or, you know, take the stairs, you know, little things like that I think I can kind of try to work on. Mental is like the second best thing, you know, which is kind of like what it kind of more started out as um, back in, you know, earlier days or 1900s. They kind of wanted more, you know, self-improvement. People think more positive if they're more of a pessimist. Uh, to laugh more, enjoy life more. You know, when you come across as a little bit happier and a little nicer, you kind of force out that pessimism or depression or so, and 
you know, they always say, you know, do what you don't want to do. So if you want to stay at home and sit in bed, maybe you should go out because, you know, maybe it'll take a few times, but once you go out and start having fun, you see your mood changes so much more. After mental is finance. That's a big thing right now. People are in so much debt. Um, student loans. Uh, you know, a lot of you are probably in college or thinking about college or just out of college and worrying about the whole money thing. And, you know, it's never too early to start thinking about saving. I've always been crazy saver. I got this bank that kind of like you can see the level with the money and that kind of helps me, you know, save more because I could see it like increasing and like, oh, I have to get up to the top. Um, I would always save my babysitting money. Um, and then every so often, every time I had like a hundred, two hundred dollars or so, um, I would put it into like bonds when I was, you know, 12 years old, 14 or so. Because, you know, I know you can't like take them out for like 10, 20 years, but I figured that's the time I would need it, you know, is when I'm like in stages now, in the 30s. Um, so yeah, so that was like a big thing um, that helped me kind of just realize real life and saving money and I knew I didn't really need anything at that time. You know, your parents provide for you a lot, so to save your money is better. Then next is career, which is what I've been kind of wanting to have as my resolution, but I know that only gets me more depressed as an unemployed person. I understand the annoyance of applications, resumes, cover letters, and just contacting everyone and asking any kind of network you have for it. You know, you know, they say like a lot of people say they want a better job. I feel like a lot of you right now just want any job. Um, and you know, it's not that bad to just kind of take a job. Um, you know, a part-time job I think is great because it gives you the time to keep applying and to, you know, just think about what you really want and it always looks better if you have a job to apply for a job because they're like, oh, someone wants her, someone has her, let's, let's take her, you know, let's take them. Plan and you never know what's going to fall in your lap. Education which is probably a big thing on you guys um, thinking about right now, applying for schools or just whatever. And so a lot of people say, you know, they want to get more great, better grades, you know, they want to study more, you know, start up something, learning new things like learning a new language. I know I tried that, I think once or twice, um, lasted about like a month, you know, a week or so. Uh, Self-improvement. The next is... Um, Kind of, you know, be more organized or relieve your stress, change your mood, um, time management, less TV, less video games, you know, that type of stuff. To plan a trip sometimes, you know, take a little bit of time out for you or your family and, you know, it can be a short trip, you know, it can even just be half hour away, just do something, you know, fun. Horseback ride for the first time or you know, do something. The biggest thing I say is volunteer. And I always volunteer. It's been a passion of mine forever. I tell you, if I could get paid doing the stuff that you do as a volunteer, that is my ultimate goal and that is what I'm trying to look for. Yeah, I mean, even just if you can go like Thanksgiving Day, like to a soup kitchen or something around Christmas time, there's a bunch of charity stuff, you know, even just the pick up toys for tots types of things and, you know, help out at a school, you know, paint, whatever. They have, you know, Nelson Mandela Day, they have Martin Luther King Day where they have big charity um, groups to do and, you know, I always make it a plan to at least do like one race, charity race and one Martin Luther King Day type of charity activity at least a year including all my you know regular volunteering stuff I mean it's fun you meet new friends and everything and that's always 
the best thing I like about that. So the biggest thing is that 88%, this is a fact from a study, um, who set resolutions actually fail. And 52% of them were confident in the beginning that it was going to be successful. So if only 50% are thinking that they're going to be successful, I bet you the people that thought that are the only ones who actually were successful. So I mean that's the biggest thing, you know, if you believe that you can set it, it's going to happen. I know all the times that I said it, I was like, oh, this is not going to happen. And that's why I only lasted like a week or a day. I mean that's like the biggest thing. Also they say that you're more successful if you set small goals. You know, so say like if you want to lose weight, say set a pound a week. You know, if you make up like an organizational plan, you write down like all the stuff you did during the exercise and um, you know what you ate and you know keep logs and stuff like that then you're going to be more successful because you have like small achievements like yes I lost a pound or oh my god I lost two pounds like this is amazing kind of reward yourself too and the biggest thing is like if you can have it like made public like write blogs or write something online or um, you know, get a friend or groups of friend support where you all do the same thing or you all have one resolution and you help each other because more peer support, more people know about it, you're like, oh, I have to perform well, like I have to do this. It's the best option. You know, peer support is everything to success. Can make or break you. You know, peer pressure is always like the biggest thing and um, for something bad to happen and peer support good stuff happens. So that's my biggest advice to you is in order to get your New Year's resolution to work. I hope you guys liked this video and I hope you can be successful this year. And tell me what you guys are doing for your New Year's resolution and how successful you think it is or any goals that you have that you want to help other people and you can put it down in the comments. And thank you.